the most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head. With stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles. There's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can take it, you can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. All right, you train, you fight way harder than those other guys, and you win. You get out from under. If you can take it, you can make it. You can do this. Just got to believe you can. There's some things I'm not taking with me in the new year. Everything that's inflexible and everything that's not ready and everything that's backwards and everything that's negative and everything that's condescending and everything that's carnal and everything that's holding me back, I refuse to take it over into another year and waste another new year with an old mind. yourself around the comings and goings of this world. Don't shape your opinions and your attitudes around circumstances that you cannot change. If you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now, you better step into this moment. As soon as you decide to stop looking for answers in other people and miracles somewhere down the yellow brick road and click the heel of your mind, you could have been free years ago. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you, no witch that hexes you can stop you from being free. If you can get your mind out, grab yourself by the hand and say, we're coming out of this. Tell them I'm coming out head first. I will not face a giant without you. I will not make a major decision without prayer. I will not bring somebody into my life just because they please me. I'll submit myself, my destiny, my future over to you. You are my foundation. You are my rock. You are my fortress. You are my strength. You are my defense. Without you, I can do nothing. You are the substratum of every dream I have ever dreamed in my life and I will take no promotion you don't want me to have and I will accept no friend you don't want me to have. You're my rock! You owe him a level of commitment. You owe him a level of commitment. It's wrong for you to think that you're going to give an offering and God's going to bless a business you ain't committed to. Bless a marriage you ain't committed to. Bless you in school and you won't study. Bless you as a saint of God and you won't walk like a saint of God.
Who do you think God is? Somebody playing in Vegas? God is not hitting a slot machine. God is a guaranteed, definite I am. Demonic God, a sure blessing. He told Abraham, I swear I'm going to bless you. Ain't no chance, ain't no doubt, ain't no joke about it. If I told you I was going to bless you, I will open up the windows of hell then wonder why I thought I'd be further than I am at the age of, let me tell you why you are not further it is not the devil it is not witches it is not demons and it's sure God ain't haters you are not any further than where you are right now because you have never thrown your whole self at anything in your life you take a half committed man and a half committed trifling woman and put them together and they'll have some half committed trifling kids and the whole house will be half committed because children will be what they see stop fussing at your kids they're a reflection of you your second commitment is to family and it's a very important commitment through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment you have to believe in the we and the us and not the me and the you or you're not gonna make it it's a commitment it's not a feeling you gotta come home when you are in love and you gotta come home when you're not in love or you're not gonna make it and stay there till the love comes back it's a commitment y'all don't want to hear real truth you want to hear fairy tale hollywood shake and bake stuff but in reality it's a commitment commitment to your dream you cannot get people to believe in your dream until you believe in it yourself stop asking people to invest in things where you have no investment Stop asking people to deliver something to you where you're not willing to go to the wire for yourself. If you don't learn to give like you learn to get every area that there is not reciprocity, it will die. Reciprocity. What do you give back for what you get? If you're not committed, you're not going to make it. Even the ones with the personalities you don't like. You have to be committed. Through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment, you have to believe in the we and the us and not the me and the you or you're not going to make it. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Until you have had the taste of finishing, you will not respect yourself. Until you follow through, until something is done, come hell or high water, tears and struggles and pain and you go through it anyway and you show up and you continue to fight on no matter the circumstances after a while something begins to wither inside of you anytime you need something that you can't give to yourself you're at the mercy of somebody else and when they don't come through you got pain and what you become is the consequences of what you didn't get it's an urge it's an urge truth be told every champion has felt it every president has felt it every king has felt it every lion has felt it every winner has felt it every soldier has felt it every victorious person has felt it the urge to quit don't you give up on your dream 
I don't care if you don't have the money, and you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it, don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Do you believe anything bad enough to fight for it and sweat for it and work for it?